Y'all, y'all know what it is. Your boy Lil Ru sitting there with Thizzler.com, man. Make sure y'all subscribe down below. Oh yeah, we got Cody and Confessions too finna drop. Me and Doja, uh, me and D Doja, Doja on the B working on that. I got um, an album with Big Cheese, Big Cheese on the slap. Me and him working on the album, we almost done. Um, then I got Cody in the album, that's the big album that I'm working on. It's a, big a lot of collaborations with a lot of everybody. And then Highway Route 2, that's what's up next. Highway Route 2 is dropping September 15th, I think we're going for. And um, they got everybody from my brother, Lil AJ, Joe Blow, Shooter Gang, Mozzie, um, Beanie Siegel, M. Dot, Free M. Dot 80. Um, got everybody on that thing. Did a, got my boy on E Day 600 from Chicago. Because Highway Rules do a lot of collaborations with me, just from everybody from all over. So try to touch bases with a little bit of everybody and get that going. And then I got this album with me, M. Dot, M. Dot 80, and Beanie Siegel. Federal property. That's the big album that I'm really working on. Now. It was a pleasure to work with that nigga Beans, bro. He's a legend to me. Like I grew up listening to State Property, so having an album with Beanie Siegel was big to me. And I shout out M.80, free M.80. He the one to bless me with that. And yeah, man, I just been working, man. Shit, just for me, really. You know everything for me. Fucking with Lean and then not fucking with Lean, just my whole life just had something to do with coding. That's when I just went to jail fucking with the Serb shit. Serb shit serious, as we say. But um, I don't even drink no more, really. Like, you feel me? I, I drink here and there, but coding as, as like a lifestyle and the clothing really is COD, creative, oddly different. That's what it is, but short for coding. Like, feel me? In all reality, we know what it is. So, COD clothing, that's what that is. And um, just Cody Confessions, a lot of shit comes with the. Like, from opiate addictions in my lifestyle. My daddy was addicted to opiates. This was like me dealing with opiate addictions, me and my niggas sipping syrup and just everything and transformed it to. So a lifestyle and come with it and the good and the bad side. It's just like, it's just everything, you know what I mean? So for me, it plays a big part in my life and just from good things that happen to me to bad things, from making money to just everything. You feel me? So I just called in. So I got my first bottle of lean at 12 years old from the doctor. Got my first bottle of lean at 12 years old. Me, Lil AJ, all the niggas, we all came to the house, we all drank. And then they been drinking. Well, I'm from North Oakland, service. Sir, North Oakland, West Oakland, like, Femi service. That shit crazy. Like, I remember this shit was damn near free. That's just a thousand dollars a bottle, you feel me? So it's always been around. And then it became an epidemic as niggas got older and trendy and all that shit. Like, it's the, I, I call it the most, the, the, the tastiest addictive drug ever. You don't even know you're getting addicted to that shit, bro. Cause it tastes so good. You think you cool sipping on lean and all that shit. And it's cool, it's fun, yes, and all the things, but at the end of the day, that shit put that monkey on your back and that ain't cool. You feel me? So, then having to deal with that, like, that shit's just crazy, bro. Really, bro. Just having a, just the willpower, bro. Just feel me? I said, I still sip now, every now and again. I'm not gonna lie to the kind of sip. I still, nigga, got a cup, huh? Let me, give me some of that shit. I drank. But, feel me? Jail helped the nigga, really. Going to that jail, nigga, nah, not him. Just have, being forced to kick. Cause um, when you got money, you got the means to keep sipping, bro. You got the money to buy it, you gonna buy it. You feel me? So, it is what it is. And then, just being around the right people and having the right motivation. My little girl looking at my like, feel me, and just really wanting to spend my money in the right places to I could better as a person. You know what I mean? Like, niggas can't be high all day, you know? It's a time and a place for everything, you feel me? And that lean shit, bro, like I said, I still sit, but it's a time and a place, bro. You just gotta know, being addicted to that shit, waking up in cold sweats, like really like a heroin addict, bro, when you notice that shit and look at yourself like, bro, that shit not cool. I mean, you just got out of willpower to really stop, bro. Cause opiates is one of the most addictive drugs there is out there. Like so, that shit ain't that shit ain't cool. I mean, you just sleep your life away, really. Like, feel me? You watch days go by and by and by, and not getting nothing done, not functioning, not being able to feel me, be a part of society, just being a, being a drug addict, bro. That's just why. You know yourself as a drug addict. Now you can be a functional user. You can get high on weekend warriors and shit like that. Like, feel me? I party. You feel me? I don't knock those that use, you feel me? Because that's what it, like, feel me? That's the lifestyle we grew up in. Like, this is the area that I grew up on, everybody on dope. Nigga, everybody on drugs. So it's like, 
it is what it is, but as far as sipping lean to cope with the pain or whatever, nah. Not like that, you feel me? I just sip lean because I sip lean. And then it got to more of me being a little real, I had to sip lean. Like, feel me? It came with the persona or whatever the fuck I was trying to be. You feel me? But, uh -uh. It's just for the birds, bro. It's money to get. You know what I mean? Chase that bag. Fuck this. Fuck that lane. Get that bag. It's my new strategy. You feel me? I started out with me, HD, and Hand Sipper. We had a group called The Young and the Restless. This is back 2003. Feel me? So, and before that, it was little AJ and all of us. We just, feel me? We all grew up together. So. Um, we was putting out CDs at the high school around Berkeley High, Oakland Tech and shit. Really getting into funk over them CDs. Actually, like, that's how a lot of North Oakland, Berkeley beef was all over them CDs. That's talking shit on CDs and shit, but... Anyways, me and... At the age of 16, I got my first manager. Um, his name was Jimmy Dright. Jimmy Dright, he was the drummer for um, Digital Underground. So, you feel me? He took us to L.A. and um, I got to meet Tina Marie and, like, do some dope shit. And then um, things didn't really work out with him. This nigga, um, he was an ex-drug addict too. This nigga was getting high, ended up getting shot and some other shit. So got scared of being with some young, some many shit happened. And um, then I had this manager called, named Spencer Sterling. And um, we recorded our first demo. You feel me? It was at Paramount um, Studios in LA. Still under the Young and the Wrestlers, me, H, me HD and him shipper. And, um, Try to like, this this like hyphy movement, it's 2006, so. Niggas sat down with labels and all the shit. If, um, if, if I swear to God, if Mac Dre would've still been alive, niggas, I would've had a deal like back then. And, um, but they said since 40 didn't go platinum, would that tell me when to go? That a lot of niggas didn't get their deals out the bay at that time. Or they passed on us or whatever, so. Then uh, as we got older, uh, Ronald Mac. Ronald Mac introduced me to Jay Styles. Feel me? Took me to Stalin House. Stalin fucked with us in that day. Like, that's when we started doing the Live Wire, the Empire albums. Me and Stalin, that's when I did that Fully Loaded, Stars and Straps, and all that kind of shit. And then um, I got introduced to Jack. Without Jay Stalin, without the Jack, I wouldn't, I don't know, feel me? I'd still be, still be struggling, still trying to get it. But, um, he opened me up to Ohio, Kansas City, shit, overseas, Denmark, all that shit, like, it, it, it got bigger. And then, um, Eric, since then, then it just, just kept working. 2011, y'all helped me out with the, um, feel me, I won a little freshman 10. I was one of the first freshman 10, thanks to you guys, you know, shout out this, you feel me? And, um, just stayed working, bro. Stayed active, went to him. Just kept trying to drop an album every quarter. Then once, um, once we lost Jack, bro, I kind of fell back a little bit. Like, that shit really hurt me. Cause that was one of my, that was one of my best friends. Like, when, when, when shit got rough for me, like, you feel me? When shit got rough for me, like, he was there for me. You feel me? Like, y'all know that me and Livewire, the Livewire system, we, me and Stalin, we all went through our little rough patch. But like, even back to this day, like, me and Stalin back fucking with it. I'm Livewire again, like, you feel me? Like, he like, I love that nigga Stalin, like, feel me? I ain't never had no Sour Wars or none of them. Like, Stalin, he, he done a lot for me. He put out my first CD, was, which was Murder for Hire. Me, HD, Ronald Mack, and Lil' Blood. Stalin paid for that to come out, put it, put it up at Rasputin, got us the big billboard and all the shit. Like, you feel me? I was happy for that. And, um, yeah, between Stalin and Jack, that's how they, they paid the way for me, and I just made sure I followed through. Like, you know, just stay, stay consistent now. Now that I'm back out of jail, you feel me? Got my hair straightened, now I'm staying back and sitting back to four albums a quarter. I mean, four albums a year, you know? I'll marry a quarter and I'm pressing. Doing hell, I've been doing a video, a video a week and trying to release a video a week. So, you feel me? As long as I stay at it, you say, it can't nothing stop me from getting where I'm supposed to be at. You feel me? Hey. Got a strong fan base. I got fans that have been there with me since the beginning, you feel me? And I want to see me make it. So, as long as I got to see it through, as Jack said, feel me? See it through. So. That's all I'm trying to do.